Facetune is like plastic surgery on your phone. I hate all of it. I'm Marla. I live in New York City. I work at Yelp. I'm in sales. I'm just home, like eating a sandwich. She's like, no, I'm eating carrots and taking 94 shots. Having a social media presence and having a good one, it definitely helps in my career. They're more apt to take a meeting with me in person because of what they see on my Instagram. Almost all plastic surgeons will tell you that they are seeing patients coming younger. Hi, my name is Mira Salim. Two weeks from now, I'm about to have nose surgery. When I get my nose done, I'll be able to like take more pictures that I'd like want to take. I knew that I wanted my nose fixed. There's less guilt about undergoing procedures. Five or 10 years ago, people might have brought in the picture of a magazine cover supermodel. Now they're bringing in a picture of themselves, but just in a slightly optimized way where Facetune or a Snapchat filter will give them a millimeter more of a cheekbone projection or a fuller lip or a straighter nose. It represents a healthier version of body image. Nobody is gonna look like they have an Instagram sparkle filter on them all the time. Got it. Are you ready for where I put my face to? I hide it in a full <laughs> main page, secondary. It's in utilities. So Facetune is an app for editing portraits. You can adjust lighting, you can remove blemishes. So we have between 1 to 1.5 million images exported on a daily basis. Everyone wants to glam up their photos, whether you are a Kardashian or a lawyer. I'll use Facetune to fix my nose and um, erase the bump or make my lips a little bit more plump. Ugh, this'll do. I am really tired of editing my photos and like my back hurts to, to some extent from doing all the editing and I also get a lot of anxiety from it. I might as well get the real surgery to become the, the image that I really want to portray. Do you ever make a mistake? <laughs> and then just something gets huge? I have a large nose, I have large eyes. I got my lips done in the first place to balance out my large nose because I wasn't ready to get a rhinoplasty was before I found out that you could do a non-surgical rhinoplasty. And that's how it all started. It makes a difference. Okay, it doesn't look that different right now, but like, it, like, look at my mouth. It like, oh, that's another thing they add is lashes. When I first told one of my close friends that I was getting the surgery done, he wasn't shocked. And I was like, like, why aren't you shocked? And he was like, Samira, you've been planning this for four years now. I would say that over 95% of my patients are millennials. Younger people are more aware of the way that they look from all different angles. They see themselves a lot more than, you know, older generations did. I really do think that the advent of things like Facetune and filters and Snapchat and Instagram, the ability of us to manipulate our photos gives people a clearer idea on what exactly they want to change. I wore glasses for a long time. And then when I took off my glasses, like I realized, oh, like I have this bump on my nose. I'll see a photo and I'll be like, oh my God, that's disgusting. I don't post as much on social media just because I'm insecure with the way I look. Part of the reason I do want the surgery is so I can take nicer pictures and be proud of them. Um, and I think the only way to do that is if I was to either get my nose filled or like surgery itself. I wish I could change my perception and like not feel this way, but I know that that's not changing. Like I know myself. Oh yeah. Samira, come on in. <laughs> Hi mom. <laughs> For 
perfect. Great. So we're going to download these and we'll take a look at them with your mom. <laughs> so first thing we're going to do is just look at the pictures without changing them. Okay. As you can see, it kind of comes over. Yeah. And that happens too because of the deviated septum. So mm -hmm. after we want everything to be straight into the middle. Mm -hmm. Right. Perfect. On the side, you know, we see that bump that you don't yeah. like. Okay. Some people will look at this and say like, yes, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. And some people will look at this and say, that's not really me. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's just 19 in a couple of years. That will automatically change. I had it too when I was younger. I'm sure with time it would change, but she doesn't want to wait. So I really wish she liked the nose that she has because I think it's perfect. And she's beautiful. There's no need for any alteration there. Um, I'm going to mail these to you, okay? I'm going to have you put your email in and so you have these. And then this way you have my email too. And any questions you're going to you're gonna send to me. Perfect. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good job, Mom. <laughs> Facetune is a high. Changing yourself, perfecting yourself in an instant with the procedure like non-surgical rhinoplasty. All of it is a high, and you feel so, so good. She was, like, so beautiful. Why did it take that long to get two shots? Well, he's really handsome. He's very good looking. I wonder if they're super busy. And apparently his grandma's house in Greece is amazing. He is a house they in Greece? Seven hundred yeah. yeah. years. 700 years old, the house. Like, <laughs> is she 700 years old? In the entire island. Well, can you get his friend to like well, me? I need to get and him to like... we can go to Greece? When we were in Greece, these two were always like, let's get a photo, let's get a photo, let's get a photo. And I was That's always like, we do we have to do heavy. another photo? And now it's opposite. I cut oh, off all social media during the week because it's easy to become obsessive and feel like you don't have enough or you need to be traveling more. Every time I open up my search, it's like, cute girl in a bikini on vacation, another cute girl in a bikini on vacation, like, girl who definitely yeah, is... Yeah, but when I scroll, it's like, like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. Part of why I deleted Instagram was because ever since me and my boyfriend had broken up, like, you would just go on Instagram and you see all these beautiful girls and then you just feel shitty about yourself, you know? Like you look in the mirror to the left and you're like, that's not how I look. That's like my fear is like editing my photos to the point where if someone sees me in real life, they're like, mm, you don't look like that. Yeah, my nose looks small on that one. Okay, you right. face Tina, you know, I've never used face okay. in my life. It's basically a downward spiral that I feel like I'm in. Oh Yo, that God. looks great. That's well, like, look how much better that looks. You know, I can't get my head above water because the more you edit, the more you get that instant high and that instant gratification. It's hard to get. It's hard to get out of uh, the routine. Yeah. Oh, I want to take a shot now. Shot. Okay, cheers to my nose cheers. not falling off on Saturday. <laughs> to the Let's, new nose. For the best. All right. Oh my god. Keep. All right, I have a cell pile. Hopefully I can make a little bit of money because I just moved. So I'm just trying to balance, like I have to afford a couch, uh, which means I have to sell a lot of my things. And also for space too, there's just no space. You know, these can be bought and sold, whereas I feel differently about tattoos and plastic surgery. I feel like it's an investment in myself, whereas things like this are kind of just, I don't know, a Band-Aid if you think about it. It's a little bit of where my head's at right now versus where it was years ago. I went through a breakup and it was the first one that really knocked me on my ass. And the first thing that I did after we broke up was lose 20 pounds and I got my lips done. It's another thing, when I'm unhappy, I collect stuff, you know? So I'm just trying to like have less stuff and really just invest more in me. Um, because when something's taken away from you, it can make you unhappy. And so I'm trying to consolidate the things in my life that you can't take away from me. I guess you could take away injections if you think about it, but I know when that's going to, to leave my life. You know, my body breaks down my lips every four months, gotta get it done every four months. And so, um, you know, it's not like a guy that can just disappear out of your life. I mean, 
you, you know, pull the wool over your head. How tall are you? Uh, five four. She's gonna be good. And right. she really needs the functional component of the surgery. That's, I'm okay with it. She really <laughs> needs it, really. This, her sinuses are very congested. Okay. So she's gonna feel a lot better. Thank you. Yeah. Great to hear from you. Yeah, okay. I'll see you after. Yeah. Are you okay if I go up? Yeah, okay. Zamira Salim, S A L I M, MR is 6097325. The procedure should take about two hours. She'll go to the recovery room and then to home, and EVL should be minimal. I hope to gain more confidence out of this. I hope to be able to take pictures the way I want to, um, to look at look at myself from any angle and feel good about it. Am I allowed to wear glasses? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, you can definitely put them on the cast. You can do that. Do you want them? I hope that obviously I feel better about how I look, because then it would be for nothing. And like, why would I put myself through pain for nothing? My friends asked me if it hurt, and I don't remember it hurting, and I remember it taking 30 seconds, but I forgot that we did the numbing. How do I look? Beautiful. Do I look stunning? Okay, great. This is the best I've ever looked. And then I'm molding the filler slightly. How many of these do you think you've done? A lot. And I'm taking a look to make sure that we're getting it as perfect as we can get it. Okay, great. Looks beautiful. Even more beautiful than it already was. Thank you. And you want to take a look in the mirror? Yes. <clears throat> So we have a nice, beautiful profile oh from three quarters God. view, and from the front, you have a little lift of your nasal tip. Yeah. It's nice and favorable. Oh my gosh, it looks smaller. The lifting is the craziest part, thank you. You're so welcome, oh you're so welcome. It makes me emotional. Let me show you your before and after, and then we can take a look at the other side. Wow. That's what my nose looks like when I'm using Facetune. You just gave me what I've been giving myself. This is the Facetuned nose. This is lifted, which is exactly what it is on the right, which is crazy. So you literally matched my Facetune nose. I absolutely love it. I know people are 
slamming the concept of Facetune and Photoshop and filters and I feel like if someone is bringing in a micro-optimized version of their own face, that's a healthier body image place to start from than bringing in the image of a celebrity who has nothing to do with you. Such a good point. Yeah, that's yeah. like my philosophical take on that. Yeah, that's so true. But anyway. Thank you so much. Of course, my pleasure. You look great. See you soon. Thank See you. you. Soon. Thank you. I feel like a better version of myself. I feel more comfortable. So I'm probably going to respond to all my DMs on Instagram to the guys that have been wanting to meet with me and take me out on dates. And I'll probably say yes and schedule those now that I feel more comfortable. Um, so yeah, there's like, my life is like starting up again, I feel like. All right, I'm off to New Jersey to go see my parents. For me personally, I think that this is where it ends with the surgeries. I wouldn't write anything off just because maybe 10 years from now, I'll want to change something. But for now, I think that this is it. So even if I did get surgery, I think I would still absolutely use Facetune and Snapchat. It's so addicting that I think I would still edit. There's always something that you're gonna wanna fix. We're never gonna be completely satisfied with ourselves and therefore apps like Facetune will always exist because there's never going to be one person without one insecurity.